Hello, amazing artists. Today we are going to start drawing our James Rizzi inspired funky, silly buildings. And we're gonna have a lot of fun with this, okay? So, we are gonna use a ruler, a marker, and a pencil. First I'm gonna use pencil so I don't make a mistake. I'm gonna give you a big, nice blank sheet of paper, so we're not gonna do it in our sketchbook. And I'm also going to give you a handout to help you with some of the faces that we're gonna make on our buildings. So we are going over vertical lines and horizontal lines. Vertical straight up and down. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna start by making some vertical lines for my building. And I'm gonna use this vertical line here so all I'm gonna do is make a little bit of space here and I'm gonna start drawing upward for my building. Maybe I can go a little bit taller. There's my first building and now I can top it off with a horizontal line. And now I have one building. Maybe my next building might be taller or smaller. Maybe I'll make it smaller and I'm gonna use this line again and I'm gonna use my ruler to make a horizontal line. And this one's a tiny building. Now my next building might be a little bit taller. Maybe it's tall and skinny. Tall and skinny though. But this time my roof isn't a horizontal line, it has two diagonal lines. So we looked at some of the cool buildings and the different shapes of the different buildings. There's my three buildings. Then I'm gonna get a little creative and maybe make some buildings that have different kinds of roofs. Maybe I have a little one over here. That's our first row of buildings. I want to draw some buildings in the background here. And I may have some room. I drew some pretty big ones over here, but I'm going to draw some in the background. So I'm gonna draw some tiny buildings popping up in the background. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna start back here, okay? I'm all in the sky, so I'm gonna make a straight line up and another vertical line. Maybe this one kind of peeks out behind both of these buildings. Maybe this one also has a triangular roof. keep making some more buildings. Maybe some of them are separated. They're not touching. So what buildings do you have behind your other buildings? buildings in the background. I could even make some more. Maybe I'll make a little tiny one right here. Maybe another tiny one right over here. Now that I'm done drawing all my buildings, I'm going to start by creating some roofs because then we're going to make the face. So what does each of your roofs have? Does it have a scallop bumpy line? For the roof, is there some straight horizontal lines for your roof? 
How about some zigzag lines? Kind of like the hair of our, our, our characters we're about to make. Maybe I have a castle-like roof. Maybe I have some wavy line roofs. Vertical lines. I want you to work on all your roofs. What kind of roofs do you have? I'm making them all different so I can tell that they're all different buildings. for the fun faces and I have a handout for you to follow along with these fun faces. Each building's gonna have a silly face. So let's start creating. I'm gonna start in any one I want and I'm going to use the handout to help me make some faces on my buildings. And you can make them interact with each other. I love them. This guy's looking at this girl. This girl's looking at this guy. This guy doesn't look very happy. This guy's sleepy. This guy looks like he's being squished. This guy is just being super silly. He's totally not having it. And this guy's looking at this guy. This guy's looking at this guy. I, gosh, I love this. I love this picture. All right, next we get to draw with our Sharpie. That's our last step for this part of the lesson. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm gonna start tracing all of my lines. That's what I'm gonna do now. 